continuing coverage of the playoffs. I'm James Cebulski. Game five set to go between these two teams that have put on a fight. Well, the moment of truth is almost upon us here. They are about to drop the puck. This is what you play for. Moments like this, you can feel the energy in this building, and we are underway. Tears it off, and that one goes up and over. Well, he looks to get this one off quickly and just gets up under the puck, and that one sails right over the net. Noel Siebert's got possession of the puck. Gains control of the puck here on the blue line. Scoops up the puck. in this one. And with the two centers tangled up, the winger skates away with it. They've got numbers here. Quick shot! Scores! It's in the back of the net! Great puck movement, James. Working hard away from the puck to support the puck carrier. And they gained that entry because they got numerical advantage. And they capitalized and executed with it. Chelabink's taken a one-goal lead here in the back half of period number one. Well, you can certainly tell that they came ready to play right from the onset of this game. It's been a tight game. They've stayed the course here. They competed for every puck. And they found ways to get it through to the net, James. I love the way that they're shooting at all costs. Bex got the puck. Big save. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Shot! Oh, he gets a piece of the puck to deny them there. Can't hang on to the puck after the play. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Tough one, James. You're along the boards. They don't have a lot of give. What that means, you're feeling it all. Cuts to the front. Oh, puts it off the iron. Had the side of the net, but doesn't go. Jonathan scores. And with that, I believe that's his first career playoff goal. Well, it is, James, and it's going to feel pretty good because there's a lot of question marks around players who can't get it done in the playoffs and he finds the back of the net. That's going to give him a big confidence boost to send him through the next game. Chelabink's taking a 2-0 lead here in period number one. Well, this is the start they wanted, James. They can hold on to it and go into the first intermission with a 2-0 lead, all because they've opened up lanes and every time they've had an opportunity to take it to the net, they have. All right, there's the end of period number one. We'll take a breather. I'll recharge. The players will, too. Both teams are back at center ice, and we are ready to get period number two underway. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment. Tell you, Bing's got a two-goal lead heading into the second period, and I'm not surprised, actually, just a little surprised it's not more. They've dictated pace and tempo. They've been aggressive and hounded pucks. But in particular, one of the reasons why they've been most successful is they found the shooting lanes, and they're putting the puck to the net. Murphy's gained the line and on the attack. He grabs the puck here at the point. Makes the save. There's a chance in front. Stop. Good 
hit to bump him off the puck. Tries to feed it across. From the slot, wrist shot. Way too much congestion blocks that. Penalty coming up here. Anytime you lose position on your opponent, this can happen. He gets the sticks out in the feet of his opponent, and guess what? He gets the tripping call. Our first opportunity to look at the power play unit set to go to work. Well, first power play of the game, James. You want to start with possession and look to get shots to the net. It is the tone setter. Here's a shot. Oh, what a stop! Back to the blue line. Takes the shot. And there's the save. Tractors, penalty killers get a hold of it. Noble Seabrook scouted in the offensive zone. Wide on the net, he missed. Well, you recognize that as a game of inches, James, and this is on full display right here. This is a great shot. Doesn't miss by much, but it's a miss all the same. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. Once the stick engages at the lower half of the leg or within the skates, you know it's going to be a tripping call. Special teams back out onto the ice, and it's a five-on-three-man advantage as the puck gets set to be dropped. Noble Seabrook's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. In a five-on-three, you have advantages all over the ice in the offensive zone, but you still can move. You can move and isolate players. When you do this, you create movement, more opportunity. That's exactly what you have to do. Noble Seabrook's got it in their own zone. Steps across the blue line. Puts it on the big save in front. That shot came quick, and it was right out front. He had to be sharp. He'd be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes. Puck slid down the ice. Takes it to the front, and he comes up big with the stick save, getting all of it with the paddle. Chalabin's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. Good clearing attempt to breathe. Let's get the call. I understand when you're racing for the puck to stand in the way of your opponent to slow them down, but if you hang out there too long, you're going to get the interference call. Four on four coming up here. Four on four, you want to utilize north, south, east, west, and capitalize on the speed with the extra ice available. You can bet your coaching staff is going to put some pretty quick players out there. Chalapink's got some room to do something here on this power play as their penalty expired. Puck is frozen and we'll get a face off. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Penalty coming up. the whistle and here's the call i could almost predict his charging call before it happened james because he came from a long way to make that hit and with that call by the officials it's a long five on three set to begin with all this time on the five on three, yes, you can be more patient, but you don't want to get low to sleep on the outside. You have to move the coverage a little bit outside of the middle of the ice to be able to open up those lanes and execute. Chelebink's gonna start with the puck inside the offensive zone. Noble Seabrook's got the puck shorthanded. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Drives to the paint. Here's the pass. He scores! What an opportunity and delivers. Let's have another look at this, James. Yep, yeah, there it is. I mean, look at that net front presence, just the screen and the goaltender battling to find the puck. That's exactly what you need in the paint on the power play, and as a result, they score. Tractors carried the puck like it's been on a string all night, Cheryl. Puck's been on their stick, and their opponent's been on their heels. They've just been worn down with the offensive zone possession time. And how about the goaltender? Seen so much rubber tonight, and a lot in the netting.
James in this playoffs. And you know what? He's found a way to find the back of the net. That's going to be a huge confidence boost for himself and his teammates. He gets his shot off the most coveted area on the ice, right in front of the paint. Doesn't allow the goalie to get set up and puts it home. Noble Seabrook's goal has suddenly put them right within two. It's really difficult to play a full 60, but when you can finish off the end of periods really strong and get yourself back in it, it bodes well for the beginning of the third. The Snowflakes get a hold of the draw. Takes the puck along the boards. Chalabin's got control of it now from their own end. Oh, this looks dangerous. Dishes it off. Great save on the play. Oh, my goodness. Well, there you go, 40 minutes in the books. All right, friends, go grab yourself some water, get hydrated, and then buckle up because we got an exciting third period coming up in moments. And we are just moments away from the start of the third period. They have dropped the puck here in the third. Derek Uchinsev's going to play it against the half wall. Here's a short pass to Shushko. Across the line and on the attack. Here's a shot. Shuts him down. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. And as play continues, this place is still buzzing and they're getting loud here now. Well, this is all about fan appreciation for that huge save. And, man, does this ever feel good. You know, you feel it right through you when you know you've made that big save. And everyone around you is appreciative. Quick shot! And that one stopped. Tractor's got the puck along the wall. And they go back on the attack in the offensive zone. Oh, and another beauty stop right there. And he takes the pass. Get to that puck. I was on display. And that's off a stick. Oh, he'll feel all of that after this one. And now he moves it to Kravstov. Driving right to the front. Nice save from point blank range. This is a fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving, a reason why he can get square to it and make the save. And here's the pass to Beck. Noble Seabrook's got him along the wall. Oh, wow! What a save with the glove! They've got the extra attacker out there, and Cheryl, we know what this means. Well, you have to get possession with that extra player on the ice. They'll look to win that draw and convert on their opportunity. Slip feed. Oh, a sliver. He gets a sliver of it and keeps him at bay. And there's the final horn, bringing this one officially to an end. Well, somebody's clearly not ready to go home just yet here, Cheryl. Big win tonight to make it a 3-2 series. Another response game, James. I mean, they're staring down elimination, and they put together a great performance to get it done. You're their opponent. Listen, you got to be getting nervous. You keep saying to yourself, listen, we got to get it done. we got to get it done. So the mindset is starting to shift here. And the next game, it's going to be a good one. A fun night of playoff hockey. And these playoffs, well, they have been intense and they have been electrifying so far. And we will see you at the next broadcast. For Cheryl, I'm James. Good night.